Vessel. Signature indicates it's a filament corporation vessel. No so we have an auto splitter now. So I don't have to do the splits. You see the splits over there? So they're tiny right now. Tiny than they should be, but they're all there. And they split on every anchor now. Please click on images containing an asteroid. Uh, there's the whole menu. Or the Don't splits or the auto splitter. Three, two, one. Donkey complete. Welcome to your destination. That was slow. Yeah. Because I got caught up there. Lost almost half a second. so bad. Losing so much time. Oh, so far behind. But now we can go straight here. Hello. That skips the waiting for the door to open. What do you know? You're a natural. Looks to me like you shut it down entirely. It makes a lot of sense. Never imagined how much the anchor could mess with the ship's systems when the others installed them. I guess they really fried some circuits down there, huh? I explain I do now appear to have full access to the annex you're standing in. Now, I know it's a big ass. But if you keep shutting down the anchors like that, I might have a real chance at getting out of here alive. Ugh. This puzzle, not good. Oh, let me grab those things for me. Yeah, I made mistakes. I so I lost a second. I get the feeling you aren't going to tell me yours, so I may just have to give you one. Filament Corp protocol is to allocate every Lulio operative a color based code name. Unfortunately, no one told you that you should just pick one color. Did that get louder? Yeah. Honestly, what I'm seeing is a little bit of a mess, so I might need to take a different approach to naming you. Red and blue are heroic, and you are my hero. But those are taken, and with all due respect, you've got nothing on Vermilion and yours truly. When I was a kid, I used to love this book. I would read it over and over again. The main character was Pluto, a socially inept bear with a can-do attitude. He tried his best. So that's what I'm going to call you. Pluto. Yeah, I like it. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Wow, that sucks. That was dumb. Yep, there we go. Losing time. What am I doing? This is bad. Bad anchor. Right at the beginning of the run. It's I would probably restart this. Again after talking to myself for a few weeks. Feel so validated, don't you? You can. Like, though, I all I needed was an hour to figure out. 
Yeah, we don't have time. Any others around? He felt definitely on the way. It's fine. It's good practice. And there's still there's a bug on this level right here it goes slow there otherwise it catches and doesn't trigger Choosing. What, what route are you choosing? What route am I taking? Uh, I mean, you're seeing it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I put this together. Despite having been here all but a single orbit, you're already making far more sense of these anchors than I ever did. This kind of thing was never really my area of expertise. If it wasn't helping me pilot my ship, then I wanted nothing to do with it. Not the best attitude, I admit. To tell you the truth, I'm still not sure what these things do. They were meant to stop uh, some spike on some graph that I'm told was important. Geez. The minor side effect that literally all systems are no longer remotely accessible. <laughs> Useful, right? the cheese. That was actually interesting. I was wondering what you were doing. Yeah, so in one of the patches, they tweaked it because people were getting caught in the doors. Uh, so they tweaked it and made it easier to get in the doors, and a byproduct of it is a uh, handful of levels can be cheesed. Because the door won't close on you, even though you've lost the, uh, the pillar. We lost First time because of the failed the cheese. I'll tell you what it is for me. The smell. I always imagine the smell on a ship like this to be like coated, you know? No. This way. Actually cut grass. I hate this one. It's so really awkward to maneuver that. through. It was a long way to help you forget your crap in the metal box. If only for a second. So a lot of it is also is not just memorizing the routes, but also memorizing the stick position mm -hmm. at the start of each level, because yeah. it puts you in a different spot and you have to like go different ways and just like remember exactly where to tweak. Otherwise, you get caught on stuff. It's like every bonk loses like half a second. Have you noticed you're faster on levels where you feel like you've memorized it? Oh yeah, for sure. And I make less mistakes. Better movement and less mistakes. So, getting better and memorizing uh, is important. And so even though I keep making mistakes, it's because like I'm trying to go in and do it without looking in a lot of places, just to like try to help reinforce the memorization. 
so that I don't use the screenshots like as a crutch. Oh my god, what was so that? What was I getting caught on? Case for the duration of my oh, yeah, yeah. Do you happen to know how many flavors of emergency calorie drinks there are? Oh my god, what was that? Flavors of emergency calories. Oh, this is so bad. Usually I figured that eating a different flavor each day was simply a plan. But retrospectively, this is not the case. I now eat both of them. One of these allegedly tastes like mangoes. But you can't guess what the other is. I'll give you a hint. It spoils when it knows it's being eaten. Looks like you're actually getting somewhere. Go team. Every anchor you take down breathes life into my console up here. Please. Oh Why am I? The bridge door is still not so poorly. But if I get enough control back, pressure. It's pressure. Got an people. Audience. Got an audience. You can come up here and let me out, right? Even better practice. Of course, it's yeah. easier said than done. It's fine. But we can cross that bridge when we get to it. Get it. <laughs> find a better solution for that. This is the better solution compared to what we used to do for this level. similar augmentations to help with his engineering work, although yours don't look as heavy duty as his. I thought that perhaps you were a scrapper? Hmm, no. You certainly dress like one, but there's nothing to salvage this far out from the colonies. Well, I had an arm swapped out, in case you were wondering. My eyes, too. I'll admit that the arm was just to get back at my mom for something. Something stupid, I'm sure. I just wanted to drive her crazy. I don't even remember why. My eyes, though. That's a different story. I would never be where I am today without them. <laughs> and that said, maybe I should start regretting those two. Uh, at least I recognized it right away. That went the wrong way. This run has not been clean by any stretch of the imagination to start, hence why I am so far behind. Maybe I'll get good to the Yeah, so it's all fine. not the direction I meant to go, so that was a mistake. Do you want to know why you were all the way out here? The very edge of recorded space? <sighs> we are Genesis, guiding humanity into a... So I keep going this way, even though I timed it, and going the other and way is actually two seconds faster. Species. But I just keep forgetting. I'm ingrained to go it this way. Here. Going the, the main staircase is faster. So I need to remember that. Keep costing myself two seconds. Okay. Well, let me tell you what those words really mean. How would you like to travel incomprehensibly far away from everything you've ever known? To assess planets for habitability, to allow less expendable people to form new colonies and guide humanity into a new age. Sounds great. Right? 
You know, the more I look at those dungarees, the more I think, they must be so darn comfy. I mean, why else would you choose to wear them, right? I get that. Unfortunately, dungarees aren't included in the Filament Corporation's stringent dress policy. It's been years since I left them up there. Are these filament uniforms really lacking in storage capacity? She means overalls? Yeah, but British. You might think that being the sole pilot and navigator of this vessel. I got that golden by out. three seconds. Right? Well, no, exactly. It's Filament Corp one call to assign an off ship captain. Reason is no need to know. The theory is to prevent a mutiny once all the rations run out and we start eating fast. The captain is called Swan. It's unfortunate. Seem to have completely fried our long range comms, so we're cut off from her for the time being. She's sharp. She could have gotten us out of this, I'm sure. Oh, not that you aren't doing a fantastic job, by the way. Hmm. What? Yeah, that's right, I'm listening to the story again. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. Say, uh, Pluto? Why are you lumbering around and routing through all of our personal belongings? Do you think you could keep an eye out for the cats? There were five last time I counted. Now, if you're thinking that five cats is a wholly unreasonable amount of cats to keep on a vessel like this, then we are very much on the same page. I can understand it. There was some sort of mix-up when the Alabaster was assigned to ship pet. The one we received just happened to be present. Not a cat person. So the sudden appearance of 400% more cat wasn't a welcome addition to my life. So, as much as I hate those self important fur balls, Saturn really had a soft spot for them. There's cheese on this level. There we go. I hadn't done that before, it was oh, found man. earlier today. So, Works. yeah, it was, a little, it was a little tricky, a little tricky to cheese. There's a, another new solution in this set also with some cheese um, that I was timing out and trying earlier today. So, see if we can get that as well. This one has the cheese, I think. Yeah. There we go. Do you know how much nicer it would have been for certain levels if we had that? Yeah, it didn't exist when we were playing through a lot of them. Maybe. There's only like half a dozen uh, that have the cheese. These anchors? Marmalade had a big part in getting them up and running. Like these solutions. You and I are still getting to know each other, but from what I can tell, we have a lot in common. They're about as talkative as humans anyway. You know, we actually threw them a surprise party a few weeks after we arrived. We're 
decorations and everything. That might not sound like much, but after your decorations can be a little hard to come by. We had to make them ourselves. Uh, I say we. Pistachio took the lead on that. Never believe it from her personality, but damn, Canary can bake. She made this unbelievable chocolate cake. We all had a pretty great time that night. We needed it. Marmalade especially. We weren't in the best place after what happened with the space battle. I think I have time save on this. So during the journey over here, something small collided. This uh set. Due to the fact that like we were 15 all seconds. It's either this one or the next one. Sure what the cause was, but the damage seemed minimal. We're lucky. It could have been worse. Still oh yeah, it was right here. I screwed this up. To schedule a spacewalk to address the issue. So yeah. As our only engineer, Marmalade didn't have much of a choice about whether or not to go outside. We have so a we should save yes, time, we assuming I don't screw anything else up here. My fair this level. Spacewalks. I knew what to expect. Marmalade, though, this is the one we got stuck on for like days. <laughs> we suited up. It went okay at first. I did what I could to reassure him, and I thought he was holding in there. There you go, 15 second gold. The Marmalade's accident was somewhat in vain. Not long after we arrived, I noticed the ship started to slip into a decaying orbit. It seemed likely that it was the result of the damage caused by the collision. So I was hopeful that our repairs would fix the problem. Not so. A few weeks later, it happened again. I think I have time save on this also. And again, not a clue as to why. When I told Vermillion about it, he said it sounded like a, uh, a, a car its wheel alignment off? Whatever that means. Have you ever started to get anxious that you're overlooking an embarrassingly simple solution? I was there. At one point I found some old comics that I stacked on a control panel. I almost had a heart attack when I realized what I'd done. It was a relief to find the ship was still drifting after I moved them. Well, you know. This one's complicated. Lots of looping. Next one also. I think the looping's fun, but not so much when you're trying to do it fast. Eh, it's not bad. That was weird. level I think might be the, the one that takes the longest in the whole game or at least in the any percent speed run just because of like you're just so long Ooh, nice gold again hey we're almost ahead 0.3 seconds behind at least eventually canary either got sick of hearing about it or began to get concerned that I was dropping the ball she contacted the captain to ask for advice I'm on the wrong level but I got my answer I was looking at the wrong screenshot. Issue in our model of ship. Oh, that sucks. Crazy, right? It's gonna lose it though. Well, there you go. We're not gonna be ahead. The captain was crazy about it too. She could have shut me out for not reporting it sooner, but she didn't. You can always count on her to back me up. Not really the iron fist type. A bit of kindness goes a long way. In the wake of Marmalade's accident, it was the captain that sanctioned the extra rations that allowed Canary to bake his birthday cake. <sighs> She's a good egg. No, she's not. Mm -hmm. We're halfway done. So, on the topic of cake, the ship were a cake. 
case, I would start to express my concern for you about that. That is to say, you're about halfway done. Unlike a cake, though, your ultimate prize will be to clean up whatever mess marmalade and aubergine left in the fridge up here, rather than shame mixed with prickly top down things. I take my chances with the cake occasionally. Between the dungarees and the fast food stickers, somebody tells me you've lived too. so cooped up in here. It's never one for Vermillion's mandatory workout routine. I could really go for a run right now. Stretch the legs, you know? The most relentless ache. Nothing like the privacy of the vehicle. As a navigator, it was my job to check we didn't stray too far off course while we slept. I had to wake up every few months to keep us on track. This petty ache is nothing compared to what I felt during those course corrections. Never been a morning person, but that gave a whole new meaning to waking up early. Didn't mean to cheese that, but I screwed it up, so I had to. Had to do it to recover. Just to make sure everything was in working order. It's not like if something was damaged, we could just order another. How did I gold that by two seconds? That's surprising. Remember what it was called as it quickly became the subject of daily conversation. Well, it only flowers something like every ten years. And this particular plant, it was due to flower on our arrival. She was so excited. She spent all our prep time finding it the perfect spot, making sure it had everything it needed. So that when we arrived, Bad. it would be healthy and full. Never did flower though. We checked the ship's footage from the flight. We haven't missed it. How did that gold? Ever since being Even with that mistake, I don't know how that gold did. I for hours on end. I think I get sick of it. There's just something about it I can't put my finger on. Just what is in my head? I know what you're thinking. Yeah, that's how gravity works. But it's more than that. I I haven't even told you about the probe yet. This was pretty good, I think. We spent weeks building the probe. Canary headed up its construction. The Lantern 2, it was called. We were all given a role to ensure its success. Mine was to plan its trajectory and pilot its descent. We felt good to work together on the probe. And it was Canary overseeing it all. So far, all the information we gathered about the planet pointed to it being mostly habitable. It was exciting. We thought we were about to touch down on what could someday be humanity's next colony. As per how we do things here, the probe launch did not go fine. That, that's not quite accurate. The launch went fine. It was the landing that left a lot to be desired. Um, what? Why is... Why did that not light up? Um, this is... This is the... 
Oh, I went the wrong way. I fucked that up. That is completely my fault. Every time I'm getting close to coming back, I do something to screw it up. And we have yet to be ahead. And we're gonna lose time here already, because I went the wrong way on the anchor. Ah, uh, that was stupid. I'm annoyed. This run is so bad. Well, yes, but I only- these splits, because I switched them from being set to anchor, uh, these splits basically only have one run against them, so it's not hard to gold. But yeah, this run has not been good. I know. It's when you, when it's like when we're getting there. So keep, like, we keep pulling it back, we keep yeah. pulling it back, keep pulling it back, and then screwing it up again, yeah. You're keeping up the suspense. My guess is that it was doing its best to get away from the run. I'm sure you've been on your fair share of space vessels during your travels. Now, you may have noticed that the Alabaster has more origami swans than your average deep space vessel. Well, let me demystify you on the matter. Origami was one of Pistachio's fondest pastimes. Credit to her, she wasn't that bad. Her augmented hands These are like some of the worst in terms of where the robot starts versus where you want to actually go. It's like completely opposite on almost every level. It's really annoying and frustrating. Multiple swans a week, all different sizes and colors. But honestly, that's just the statue. I like the big way. Anything she did was in the interest of making all feel good. Funny. This level. How did that gold? I want to know how this all started. I was just thinking about the statue some more. All of this started with her. After the failed probe launch, things started to go wrong. Equipment began intermittently acting funky. The ship was drifting more often, and Canary's readings of the planet were all over the place. Pistachio just disappeared. And I don't mean she ran off or anything. She literally just vanished. She wasn't on the ship anymore. All her stuff was still here, all the escape pods still in the bay. We searched. All we found were the clothes she was wearing on the floor in her lab. And her hands. Oh, well, maybe I can have a good mixing for once. And I, I just like cannot do mixing fast. I need to just spend like an hour and just do mixing over and over again and memorize it. Because mixing is super fast if you do it correctly. After the probe, Canary increased the number of readings she was taking on the planet. She had seen an increase of anomalous readings across the board right up to the day Pistachio disappeared. And they just stopped. For a time. Then the anomalies started to crop up again, but faster than before. If the timing of the anomalies before was anything more than coincidental, then we were in danger. I've never prepped a ship for long distance travel so There you before. go, there's a gold. Not that it mattered. We were all set to leave, but when we tried, we realized we couldn't escape the planet's gravity. It was like it had somehow gained mass. And every time we put more power to the engines, the planet would pull back. Only harder. When we realized that we couldn't distance ourselves from the planet, we had an emergency meeting with the captain. She was as reliable as ever, calm and collected. Our first instinct was to use the escape pods, as we thought they might be small enough to escape the planet's pull. She told us to hold tight, though. It was her that reminded us where we were, on the frontier, in the middle of nowhere. Looking at the wrong thing. Escape, but we'd be light years Dumb. away from civilization, in a canister, with minimal rations and no cryo sleep pods. Besides, if I was wrong, then they couldn't escape the pull either. Good. Still gold is by nine seconds, and we're almost back again. Started work on something as soon as they realized that we were stuck. They pitched it to the captain in that meeting. 
called them anchors. With the captain's permission, Aubergine and Marmalade began their work developing the anchors. I never really stopped to properly explain them to me. Just said that they were designed to lock out whatever magic space waves took the stash. Oh, that and their short range. Gotta have them everywhere in the cover of their ship. Canary helped them, running around, doing tests, advising them on this and that. I couldn't help. I'm not an engineer. I'm a scientist. What's I supposed to do? To level with you. At the moment, I didn't want to help them anyway. We're ahead. We are ahead. To the place of parties, we had a good uh, mixing. Panels, vents, furniture. Nothing was safe from those two. Cables, everything. I was always tripping over them and then taking my own crown off whenever I was closest. Not therapy at all. Not in a bad place. I'm not proud of how I acted at that time. Soon enough, the anchors were all over the ship, with just one place left to cover the bridge. That actually meant I could be somewhat useful. I had to pull myself together, sit in the cockpit, and keep tabs on the ship's systems. Make sure the anchors were integrating properly. Things could go wrong. The door was already closed when they flipped the switch. I assumed my own fate was in that one. My whole console flared up and then shorted out. It was bright enough that the terminal key left an imprint on my vision. Making it worse, all my coughing pulses. I tried running out to the bridge to tell the others, but the door wouldn't open. I kept just mashing the release button. Nothing happened. I never really felt claustrophobic before. That moment I did. I had to calm down. Slow my breathing. It took Vermilion yelling through the door to finally get my head back together. Then all I could do was wait. trying to get the door open. Not sure what the others were doing, but the noise, it was unbearable. The cockpits on research vessels like this act as a safe haven of sorts. They couldn't get the door open from the outside, and I wasn't able to reverse the effect of the anchors from here. Only were Aubergine or Marmalade in here. Nothing different. Then, after a few days, the noise just stopped. I left. This was one of the anchors for the speedrun competition, so I have it pretty solidly memorized. Hearing the story a second time around really does hint a lot more at what... Doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, when you already know the answers, it uh, everything makes more sense. But when we played it over the course of like an entire week, it wasn't as clear. Yeah, we forgot. Uh, we are 10 seconds ahead now. I better be seeing as this is both my job and, well, at least my only pastime. I'd say you can get it to the bridge now. Woo! It's all right. I can't help it. It's all so exciting! Let's go. If you get yourself to the bridge door, we should be able to get this thing open. Huh? I, uh... You have to do that? Really talk that you way. have to be there in front of the bridge door and moving. If you're just stationary, it doesn't trigger. So you have to be moving, and as soon as the hum starts, then you can go. You're gonna have to go down to the escape pods and reset the breaker. You'll need this code to get in. Ready? Here goes. Seven. Seven five. Nine. And nine five three. three. What was it? Seven. Seven five nine three. Seven five. Nine. Three. 
seven, five, Thank you. Super helpful right there. No time loss. <gasps> I didn't go into the bridge. Oh, I'm so terrible. I went the wrong way. Oh. So the breaker? Oh, so terrible. <sighs> this run is so bad. It's that variety. I was like, I knew something was missing when I was doing it. I was like, this is wrong. There's one thing in Final Fantasy X they have to do one of the quick spins. Ooh. I have to figure that out. I don't have to, but I should try to do well. I screwed this up in the other run too, so I don't I don't know how much time we're actually gonna lose here. It might it might actually not be very much because I messed this up. I remember that. Lost less than a second because of that mistake. So, still plenty of time saved. Not here, probably. Really a smart guy. Should have made it pick on one of the colonies, you know? Held down a desk job. So, I wasn't around with pencils or the higher ups. Would have been more stable. A lot of these puzzles on the fridge. Well, we're not going to do that many of them. But I felt like they weren't. Some of the other puzzles were more difficult. Oh no, a lot of the bridge ones that you missed were really hard. I solved this completely through trial and error, but this route is more efficient. So apparently there's a new solution for one of the requisite pads that was found uh, a couple hours ago, but I haven't looked at it yet. Apparently it saves a second. It's on the th requisite pads three. Yeah, that one you have to wait a couple seconds. This is this level is long too. A lot of looping back and forth, and I was not able to find a faster route. I spent some time trying to find a faster one for this, and couldn't. You're very restricted by the colors and by the jigsaw. And by the placement of everything. Any uh, feedback from the devs on adding uh, meters? 
Yeah, actually, they responded about it, and they said that originally the game did have that, but apparently it was, like, too intensive on the game, and so for performance reasons, they removed it. Okay. So that's disappointing, and obviously because of that, they're not going to... Bring it back? That's... Yeah. I mean... It would have been really useful <laughs> for us. Speedrunners? Yeah. Fuck up. I don't know. I know what I fucked up. I did those in the wrong order. Damn it. Oh, that's gonna be time loss. I think I did these pretty cleanly in a uh, previous run. have these pretty solidly memorized most of the time cuz the cuz the screenshots are so hard to read yeah they're really so you kind of just have to memorize it cuz you can't get the overhead shot this is i guess what you mean when you say they were quite difficult when you're combining like these were actually super fun to solve uh, i really liked the colored screens these puzzles i mean they combine so much of the other puzzles. Yep. Oh yeah, there's a bunch like this where they're crazy combined. Oh yeah, losing a bunch of time. Wrong way. Well, rip all that time save. Still memorizing the uh, this updated route. Like this. This this one is. Oops. This was a huge pain in the ass. I have no idea what's going on. Right. The brokenness is very weird. It turns the filament on and off, which is you actually want it to happen in this case. It's very mind bendy. Well, we're gonna PB. Because we have like 40 seconds of time save in the end split because of the way the bug happened and the way I wound up splitting and stuff. So we're going to PB. But this is not a very good run. That is not where we wanted to go. We wanted to go there. You 
the other side of the door doing things. Same sort of a skip. Hey, would you look at that? You're just a step away. You know, I don't know whether I'm ready to meet you yet. You're still so, part of me. Because you have to wait for this thing. Mm -hmm. And now you don't have to wait. Here. Kind of come to terms with my there you feet. go. Shaved 14 seconds off now, from waiting versus not waiting. Gotta prepare myself for what comes next. You really Ooh, are something. TV you know. game shows. That's up my alley. You don't know. Uh, no, but it's mostly. Oh, running to the beach. Yeah. Did you? This was always coming. 18 photos of game shows or people associated with game shows. Thinking. Looking for the name of the Putting game. Putting a filament of the game like only. that. Just wind it your own business. I'll try it. No. They're always watching me, but I tried. You understand that, right? Now I'm out of options. I think this is going to be like a 5523. That's my guess. Oh no, wait, we shaved off 14 seconds. So 5523 minus 14. 5509. Unless I get that bug again. Uh, oh, shit. I didn't realize I had already hit that. Well, maybe 5510 now. Also, no arms. I've got no arms. I don't need no arms. Which is why I've got no arms. Cause I don't need no arms. I got two legs. And a bald head. That's all I need. I think it's red hair. Don't watch me bleed. Looks like it's bald. Sure looked bald to me. Oh no. Watch out. I know. Here, can you send those to yourself? Yeah. The 
bottom left corner will pull up and allow you to send. But I'll be done in like 20 seconds. There you go. Oh, the ending bugged out again though. That happened to me before. 5509. Sweet.